All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm reading short stories for Halloween, okay? So this is horror stories, all right? These are horror stories done by other people, not myself, for Halloween, okay? So this is, I hate it when my brother Charlie has to go away. All right, well, that's not a good story. <laughs> okay, well, I'll pick another story, all right. Seeing Red, The First Day of School by Zen Reheo, all right? So I'm going to do this story for you guys. You will enjoy, all right? Everyone loves the first day of school, right? New year, new classes, new friends. It's a day full of potential and hope before all the dreary depression of reality show up to ruin all the fun. I like the first day of school for a different reason, though. You see, I have a sort of power. When I look at people, I can sense a sort of aura around them, a colored outline, haze, based on how long that person has to live. Most everyone I meet around my age is surrounded by a solid green hue, which means they have plenty of time left. A fair amount of them will have a yellow-orange tint to their auras, which tends to mean the car crash or some other tragedy. Anything that takes people before their time, as they say. The real fun is when the auras venture into the red and up the spectrum, though. Every now and then, I'll see someone who's basically a walking stoplight. They are the ones who get murdered or kill themselves. It's such a rush to see them and know their time is numbered with, this, with that in mind. I always get to class very early so I can scout out my classmate's face. The first kid who walked in was basically radiating red. I chuckled to myself, too damn bad, bro. But as people kept walking in, they all had the same intense flow. I finally caught a glimpse of my rose-tinted reflection in the window, but I was too stunned to move. Our professor stepped in and locked the door, his aura a sickening shade of gray dogs. <laughs> that was a cute story, guys. All right, totally enjoy it. Bye now. Not my original story, but...